The tenth house is the house of name, fame, power, position, and authority. That's it. That is all. Is that all? Or is there something more to the tenth house? Do you know there is a house in your chart which is so powerful that it can supersede every other or any other bad placement or you know you say negative afflicted debilitated weak you know whatever you just name it but there's one house which can which can make up for all the damages in the chart you know which house is that it's the 10th house <laughs> but today we are going to discuss 10 things from the 10th house which you might have heard somewhere, but it's not very much known and people don't use this, okay? So what happens if you have a very strong 10th house, okay? Now, what is a strong 10th house? Strong 10th house means there are many, considerably many number of planets in the 10th house, in the Bhava Chalit chart, not in the Lagna chart. Should I repeat, in the Bhava Chalit chart of your 10th house, do you have three, four, five or more planets? Or even if you have one planet and if that planet is the sun or the moon or the Lagna Lord, then also you have a very powerful 10th house. So if your 10th house is very strong from all factors of astrology, then these 10 things will be there in you to, to whatever extent depending on your chart of course. But do not forget, as I always say, look at the overall chart and only then you decide. All right. So here are 10 greatest blessings of the 10th house, which is the first the 10th house will make you a self-made person, self-made millionaire or a self-made billionaire. Which means if a person was born in a family which was uh, under proper poverty or you know, which had did not have a good upbringing, doesn't matter. That person through his or her own hard work and efforts and perseverance, patience can change uh, the circumstances of the family and can take the family to new heights, which nobody can imagine. So a powerful 10th house will make you a self-made person. Now, when I say self-made, I'm very conscious and cautious here. Nowadays, everybody claims, oh, I am self-made. Okay. <laughs> so when I am saying self-made, I mean to say not that, you know, okay, you did your engineering masters and then whatever or medicine or law and then you became rich. No, I'm not saying that. When I say self-made, I mean that if your situation is so bad that your parents cannot even afford a basic primary education, what to speak of college or anything, you know, you do everything from scratch, from day one, you are your you are your own parents basically. If that's your situation, if your situation is so bad, even then the 10th house can pull you out from that okay that is by your own sheer hard work so therefore people who have a strong 10th house are actually self-made now of course uh, it does not mean that the counter is true which means if you have a 10th house it doesn't mean you will not get any support from anybody else no it's not that but suppose your family situation has been so bad but you have a strong 10th house you don't need anybody you can do it yourself okay you can you can earn money when you are very small which may not be the best you know there could be child labor and all this but if time requires you might be able to do this okay number two a strong 10th house gives you unlimited courage and determination because a planet in the planet in the 10th house is full of vitality a planet in the 10th house dominates the chart so if you have a planet in the 10th house <clears throat> or you want to get something done which everybody is fearing to do then you must give this to a person who has a very strong 10th house because this person will do whatever it takes to get success in that area of life. A strong 10th house is like the great Hanumanji, right? So Hanumanji, one of the greatest devotees uh, of Lord Sri Ramchandra. So you see, whatever he tries to do he just says the ram nam and that's it he flies off to lanka he he does all the things he burns the lanka city of gold and then he gets the news of mother sita back to the ears of lord ram so a planet if a person has a very strong 10th house you can very easily identify that person has no fear now of course that person might have some fears inside everybody has fears you know 
But when I say that person does not have fears, I, I mean that that person may have fears, but that person does not give into the fears. So the person may become fearful, but does not stay there. The person <clears throat> tries to elevate their consciousness and go beyond that. Okay, So very, very, very important. Unlimited courage and determination comes from the 10th house. So do not forget that. Number three, the 10th house, if strong, will make you a visionary, which means... <clears throat> You will not see one year, two years, three years, four years, five years. You will see 10 years. You will see 20 years. You will see 30 years. You may also see generations. You may see, okay, I'm starting this business now. Maybe by the time I'm 60, 70 and I retire, I can take my business to here. Then my next generation, suppose you, you say I can take my business to 10 million. Then you plan, okay, my children, they will be taking this to 100 million. Then my grandchildren will take it to 1 billion, 10 billion, whatever. Okay, so you not only plan for tomorrow, <laughs> you plan for the next 100 or maybe even 1000 years, but at least you plan for the next 15, 20 years. So you have a grand vision, a person with a strong 10th house, you can always identify the person very easily if the person talks about visionary things, you know, about future, you know, the person does not like to gossip and go to the past, this happened, that happened. A person with a strong 10th house is the, is the last person who is interested in gossip. Okay, he or she is least bothered about what, what others think of him or what others tell him. <laughs> so, if, if you have a very strong 10th house, then you will not give a damn about what anybody tells you, okay? Now, this is in a good sense. It means, you know, if somebody tells you, oh, you can't do it, you know, you will fail. So, you don't give a damn. You go and get it, okay? Uh, and because of that, you become a visionary, okay? So, very, very powerful. If, if you have a strong 10th house, you have a grand vision. You, you are not a person who wants to compete with others. You are a person who says, why only me? Let everybody else benefit. Okay, so when you say that, you know you are a statesman, you are a visionary. Number four, because of your determination, because of your self-made nature, because of your visionary leadership, you are trusted by people. A person with a strong 10th house earns the trust of people. Not through family lineage, not through some you know, divinity or some you know connections or you know by... Uh, fake marketing or by MLM or all this. But you earn your trust by your work. Your work speaks for you if you have a strong 10th house. Okay, so strong 10th house means you perform consistently well and you deliver results. You 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 achieve your performance target. So when you do this, then what happens is you understand, people understand that yes, this person is trustworthy because this person is predictable. And the moment they realize that you are predictable, they will open up their pockets to you because they can trust you, right? You won't harm them because you are at a league of your own. A person with a strong 10th house has no competition. He, he does not like to compete with others. You know, all this petty competition, he or she doesn't like. They, they say, what is this? Why are you competing? Let's come and collaborate. You know, let's complement one another. Okay. <clears throat> so one of the very easy ways to know if a person has a good 10th house is you know they will always compliment other people from their tradition okay so uh, if somebody has a good because the, the person has no fear or insecurity a person with a good 10th house is so trustworthy because the person knows that yes I can do it myself and my advancement my development need not come at the cost of the downfall of others so therefore, a good 10th house will give you trust from people. That's, that's unparalleled. No other house can give that. Number five, a good 10th house will help you to see the unknown. Okay, so see the unknown means, suppose there are 10 people in your team and you are the leader of the team and every individual player is performing well. But suppose even after that, due to some reason, you are not able to get, uh, your team is not able to function. Okay, so what's going on? What is, what's going on? Why is it not happening? So person who has a weak 10th house or a bad 10th house, even if that person 
is in a leadership role by luck or by connections or by destiny or whatever, the person will not be able to understand where is the fault, where is the flaw, where is the mistake, where, where, where is the problem in the supply chain. The person will not be able to understand. Even if the person sees everything. Because the person cannot read between the lines. But a person with a good 10th house can read between the lines. Literally. <laughs> and the person can see the unknown. Okay, so therefore, you know, Rahu does very good in the 10th house. Okay, so Sun also does excellent. Rahu also does very good in the 10th house. Why? <laughs> because you can see something which others cannot see. So 10 people are sitting and nobody is able to understand why you are saying something. Because you, you can see something. You are a visionary. You have courage, determination. You have ground experience. You, you have earned the trust of people. So you can see something which others can't see because others have not experienced something which you have experienced. Okay, So a person who has a very strong 10th house will be always full of stories, you know, stories in the sense, inspiring stories, you know, not some random nonsense like, oh yeah, in my culture, this happens like that, in my state, this happens like that, you know, not just bragging nonsense about their own culture or, you know, nonsense in the sense, like giving some unwanted information, which has no relevance, you know, like sometimes I <clears throat> uh, talk to people and they are like, you know, debating for hours, you know, which panchang is to, you know, Bengali Panchang is correct, you know, Maharashtrian Panchang says this, Tamil Panchang says this, huh? it's just a waste of time, you know, like, but nonetheless, a person with a strong 10th house will have a lot of stories to share, inspiring stories, which will not only inspire themselves, but will also inspire those who are listening from them, okay. <clears throat> Number six, this is classic, you have hardcore discipline. Because without discipline, there is no success. So a person with a strong 10th house will have very strong discipline, which means the person will do things day in and day out repetitively for years and decades without being concerned about if they feel good or bad about it. Okay, so if a, if a person has a strong 10th house, they will not just make new year resolutions because... Why do you need to make a resolution according to them? So, <clears throat> one of the ways to know if a person has a bad 10th house is to see, you know, every other day they will make some promise or, you know, every other day they will say, oh, in the name of God, I swear or something like that. I swear in your name, his name, her name. Why? Because without swearing or without taking God's names, they, they just can't stay true to their own word. Okay, so uh, otherwise, uh, if a person has a very strong 10th house, then they think something and they do it. Okay, as in Ramayana it is said about Lord Ram and his dynasty, you know, which means in the Raghu Vamsh, in the Raghu dynasty, this uh, tradition is there, you know, that you do what you say. You may lose your life, but you cannot not do what you said. Okay, pran jai par vachan na jai. And a person with a strong 10th house has also mastered the art of doing things which they don't like. Should I repeat? A person with a strong 10th house has mastered the art of doing things which they don't like repeatedly. Okay, so for example, I know many people who tell me that, oh, they want to become a YouTuber. Fine, very good. Go ahead. Nothing wrong with it. But then, after six months, they tell me, oh, yeah, you know, I started, you know, but I only like to make videos. I don't want to make thumbnails. You know, it's very boring, you know, like. And then I say, well, uh, then why not hire somebody? Oh, yeah, but I don't have money. You know, nowadays, you know, the, what is that? Graphic designer or all these video creators are very expensive, so I can't pay money. And then I said, okay, fine. Why don't you do it yourself? And then they tell, they tell me, no, but I don't like it. You know, I only like to make videos. So a person with a strong 10th house knows that to be successful in life, you have to put your energies in the area where you are interested. But at the same time, when you are doing that, around that, there will be certain things. There will be a lot of other things which you have to do inevitably by yourself or by hiring somebody else, which you don't like. So for example, if you are a YouTuber and you say, oh, I don't, 
I just like to make videos, you know, I, I, I don't want to learn video editing or, you know, thumbnail making or whatever, to some extent at least, you don't have to become an expert. Well, then guess what? If your thumbnails are not good, then people are not God. So they don't know what's there in your video, you know, they won't feel tempted to click it. So therefore, you will not get views and then you will get discouraged. Okay. So a person with a good 10th house will do things which they like and also do things which they don't like because doing those things which they don't like gives, gives them or brings them good results and returns. Okay, so this is a stark difference. Okay, and they do it with discipline for ages, right? Number seven, a person with a 10th house has extremely high clarity in life. Okay, so... One of the easiest ways to identify if somebody has a good or a bad 10th house is to is, is by seeing how much clarity do they have in life. Now, of course, you don't have to have clarity from the day your umbilical cord is cut. But you need to understand that when you are, you know, at least, you know, late 20s or 30s or 40s, at least in your late 20s, you should have some clarity. It doesn't It does not mean that by late 20s or 30s or you must be married you should have two kids you should have a house car no i'm not saying that but by the end of your 20s around 27 28 29 you may not have completely figured it out but you should have some clarity about your own nature what you like what you are good at you know and what the world wants from you so these three things should be there should be some reasonable clarity and by 30 35 or at least by 40 you should be you should be knowing what you want to do in life because frankly after 40 there's not much time to do anything substantial now of course i know you will say oh but look at the founder of kfc you know he went and did something in you know 69 or 70 or whatever that age you know well yes that's true but that's an exception that is not the rule right because your 20s you know your teens 20s 30s they're filled with less responsibilities and they're filled with more uh, vigor and passion. So the amount of efforts that you can put in your 20s or in your 30s is not the same as you can put in your 40s. In your 40s, you'll have kids, you'll have responsibilities of your parents, in-laws and 50s, you know, your health will struggle. You know, 60s, you have to take care of yourself and 70s, God knows what happens, right? So if you meet a person, if you have met somebody who was having a lot of clarity, in a very earlier phase of their life, you know, maybe in their teens or 20s or you know, beginning 20s or, or at least till mid 20s, then you know this person has a very strong 10th house. Okay? And for the rest of the world, not a very strong 10th house. Number eight, this is something which we know, but we don't use it again. That a strong 10th house indicates you will have multiple sources of income. Because as they say, an average millionaire, uh, has at least five to six uh, multiple sources of income. Now, of course, this is this does not mean that you just uh, like headlessly you keep diversifying. Oh, today I will be in YouTube, tomorrow IT, then AI, then this, then that. No, it doesn't mean that. It means that you do one thing perfectly and then you expand into other areas. Okay, so most of the millionaires or billionaires who have multiple sources of income for them uh, 60 to 70 or sometimes even 80 percent of their uh, income their total income monthly yearly or even the net worth comes from one stream it does not come from 10 streams okay <clears throat> but apart from that they have other streams which make them more money so imagine you are making 100 crores a year among them only 60 crores is coming from one area but still you have other 40 crores right so if you divide uh, 40 by 60 it is how much it is around it's big right two thirds almost so a person with a strong 10th house will master one skill they will not be a jack of all trades and master of none no they may be jack of all trades but they will be they will be a master of one and once they master one they will go to the next then the next, 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 next. So they build incremental sources of income, not just multiple. Okay, anybody can build multiple sources of income. <clears throat> like I know people, they say, oh, I have, you know, 12 sources of income. And I'm like, what are that? Oh, I have written one book. I have one podcast. I have you know, one this, one that. So <laughs> they did 12 things. 
I mean, 11 things, 10 or 11 things apart from the job. And they said, oh, I have, you know, multiple sources of income because I have written books. You know, how many books have you written, my dear sir, my dear madam? Oh, just one. Okay. Still, that's enough, right? To call yourself as a multiple source income owner. But that doesn't work. Okay. But a person with a strong 10th house will have multiple sources of income generating good revenue. That's the difference. Number nine. A person with a strong 10th house will always get some award and recognition. Could be from the government or from other sources also. Because the 10th house uh, is the house of awards. See what happens when you get an award in the... Uh, there's some you know award ceremony and when you get the award, what happens? <clears throat> the light is on you. The spotlight, the limelight is on you. <laughs> okay, so... If a person has done a lot of things but does not have a good 10th house then it might mean that the person may not get an award. Okay. Now, of course, uh, those who do not get awards doesn't mean, you know, they are not good or something like that. But the 10th house has something very special, okay? So if you have been getting awards in your school, you know, in your bachelor's, your master's, you know, your preliminary, primary, chances are you have a very strong 10th house, okay? <laughs> Most likely. So therefore, if you have... If you see uh, a good 10th house is there for a person, then you can suggest that the person will get some recognition, okay, in the form of awards and the person will have a lot of trophies in their house. <laughs> All right, last but not the least, a person with a strong 10th house is everybody's savior, which means everybody will call them when something goes wrong. Oh, this happened, that happened. What will What should I do? What should I do? What should I do? So a person with a strong 10th house may find themselves saving others. <laughs> saving in the sense like, you know, helping or guiding, counseling others, pulling people out of problems. You, you, are a, you are not a problem solver. You are a problem crasher or crusher, basically. You crush problems, okay? <laughs> There's no problem that you cannot solve. As I said in the beginning, like, Pawan Putra Hanuman, Jai Bolo Hanuman Ki, Jai Bolo Siaram Ki. So... Hanumanji is like the savior, okay? Rama Kaj, uh, as the Hanuman Chalisa says, right? So any work that Lord Ram gives, any problem that Lord Ram has, you know, like Lakshman is hit with this uh, <clears throat> Pran Ghatani Shakti from Indrajit Meghna, then, then what happens? He has to go bring the Sanjeevani booty from the Himalayas, you know, he brings the entire Dronagiri Parvat. He brings Vedirat Sushen from <clears throat> Sri Lanka and then you know, the rest is history, of course. Meghnath is dead the next uh, the next day, I guess, yes. <clears throat> so he he's the one who helped in bringing Lakshman out of, you know, uh, Lakshman not going to death. And then, of, of course, when Indrajit had used this Nagpash on Ram and Lakshman, then he was the one who went to you know, bring Garuda and uh, make them free from the Nagpash, right? So, Hanumanji is like everybody's savior, okay? As they say, Bhut Pishach Nikat Nahi Aave. <laughs> so, all the Bhut, Pret, Pishach, they run away whenever they hear the, the word Hanuman. Why? Because they know behind Hanuman is the power of Lord Ram and his name, all right? So, therefore, a person with a strong 10th house has the power to save not only themselves, their family, their clan, their caste, gender, religion, <laughs> their country, their the whole the whole universe basically. All right, but it's not that every other day such a great leader is born. All right, somebody like the great Maharana Pratap, Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj. You know, maybe they were some great examples of people with extremely powerful tenth house. All right. Thank you very much for your patience. Please let me know down in the comments what are some other things that you have seen with people that have an extremely powerful 10th house and which among these 10 do you have in your case, all right? Please let me know down in the comments for personalized consultations. You can go to my website down in the description section. God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will find him. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. All right. Jai Shri Ram. Jai Hanuman. Jai Siya Ram.